Welcome to another Unreal Foos video. Today I want to talk about Foos Alert, which is an Android app that I created. And um, it's basically an app that will notify you uh, when you have a match, a foosball match. And this is used at, um, at IFP uh, tournaments. That's currently the only supported uh, tournament uh, software that, that, that this monitors. Uh, but I do have plans uh, to add, you know, other popular uh, tournament software like NetFoos and, you know, maybe some others. Um, so let me show you how this works. Again, it's only for Android for now. Um, here's the, the Foos Alert uh, icon is there. You click on it. Um, it's going to say... Uh, it's gonna try to monitor matches. There's no matches. It will refresh in a minute. Um, currently, there is no uh, IFP tournament active, so there's no matches here. Uh, however, I did add a setting here to use um, some fake data that I posted uh, on on the web. So it'll go out and and also monitor that. So the way you do that for now, just to try out the app, is you go to settings. Uh, and in your settings, um, you have uh, one, the ability to enter a player name. Uh, and this is going to be the player name that you're going to monitor. For now, let's let's cancel there. Um, if I go to the, this very last setting, it says use sample match data. So I'll click that to turn it on. Uh, I'm going to get out. I'm going to go back. And at this moment, it went out to uh, my Unreal Foos website. Uh, to a location that I <clears throat> where I put this this fake data and it basically um, uh, populated uh, you know all of these matches and so so you can see here um, you know for example there's Ryan Moore and Billy Papas playing on table six open singles match was called two minutes ago playing for fifth on the winner side um, which is a pretty common thing <laughs> you'd see if you go to a tournament those two guys battling it out but you know again you know i just put the names of some of the best foosers out there plus uh some of my friends <laughs> but anyways um um so you can see that that you would have this now i'm not getting any alerts at this point you know this app wouldn't be very useful if it just shows you the matches so what you can do here if you go to your settings again um, you can go to player name and here you can, you know, I'm going to enter, for example, Zeke, um, you know, just for myself and I could actually put my full name, which, uh, would, um, you know, if I put Zeke Cervantes here, I'd, uh, it, it would be a, a more unique match once it looks at what matches are playing. And, and so, um, it, you know, uh, if you, if you enter something, less um, specific like you know Rob then it's gonna match any any player named Rob like Rob Atha or Marius um, so it's up to you I left it so that it's uh, flexible like that so let's say I just put my name there put OK and I go back right away you can hear that I got an alert it says right here uh, and then the other thing I do is my matches are always posted at the very top so whatever uh, gets uh, whatever player you configure the match would be at the very top so you see exactly where you have to go play your table um, and then the rest of the matches will be here so you can still like scroll uh, up and down this list but um, so right here you can see at the on the notifications that the you know the Foos Alert icon is right there so if I look at my notifications right there it says match detail um, you know, when it says I'm up on table five and so I could click that and it'll just take me back to the app. Um, and so one of the nice things about this is that, um, you know, you don't have to have the app going. I can exit out of the app and, um, you know, maybe turn off the display. For example, at this, at this point, I'm going to turn it off. I could have it in my pocket. I'm in the tournament room. And this thing will just monitor, and next time you have a match called, then it's gonna notify you. So for now, um, I have, I'm gonna add another match on the web real fast, which I have it all set up, so I'll just save the file. Oh, 
Okay, so I save this file, which has a, a fake match that gets added. So now I can wait for this, which refreshes every minute. And I do have a setting where you can change the interval. Uh, but essentially, uh, it's going to take, you know, anywhere uh, about a minute or so, less than that, depending on when the last refresh was done. And it should send me an alert. So I should be able to hear an alert here for a match. Um, that I have uh, against, uh, you know, some fictional player named uh, uh, YouTube. <laughs> so you'll see. So I could, I could, I could essentially force it. I could do a uh, sort of a manual reset, but I'll just leave it like this, just to show that this app, um, you know, it is constantly monitoring and uh, on the background. So. Um, so I'll just, you know, again, there's no notifications because I cleared the last one. So I'll just, I'll turn it off and just wait here for a second. Let me, let me go and see if I did this right. Oh, actually, there I came. <laughs> I was getting worried, but, um, you know, so I was using my phone and then I got a notification. It says, um, Zeke Fuser uh, versus YouTube and you know if I want to see the uh, I can I can rotate the or I can, I can actually just click it and it'll just tell me there um, Zeke Fuser uh, versus YouTube table 14 pro doubles one minute ago for 32nd place on the winner's side but you can see that um, you know in this the first match is Zeke Cervantes this one is Zeke Fuser and that's because on the player name, uh, I configured it to be Zeke. But let's say um, I change this to be Rob. And I'll come back. So now it says, now it's telling me there's a Rob Morris ma match here. There's a Rob Atha and some Robert Smith versus a John Doe. So you can see that. And then I got three alerts for those matches. But again, the, the really cool thing about this is that um, that you can just have it in your have your phone in your pocket and you get a notification and, uh, you know, this way you avoid getting uh, forfeited uh, in matches. Uh, the other quick thing I wanted to show is you do have um, right here, you do have the ability to change the icon if you want it to be the icon that you saw there, which was that Fuse Alarm icon, or you can have a foosball table. You can select here and the next time um, that you get notified. In this case, uh, since I've already been notified, I'm not gonna get notified again for those matches. But uh, one way um, one way to basically force a brand new res uh, uh, reset is to kill the app completely and start it up again. Um, so at that point, it says foos up and then you can see now Instead of a little foosball guy, there's actually an icon of a foosball table. So, and that's all based on the settings. Um, so I have other settings for, you know, disabling the sound uh, and the vibration. Um, and, um, and again, like I said, the update interval, uh, by default, it's two minutes. Oh, and that's why that I, I thought I set it up for one minute, but it was for two minutes, so that's why I was waiting for, for a little bit longer there. But you can set it up for one minute um, or up to five minutes, um, and, you know. And then that's how often the uh, the app is going to go out there to the web and pull down this information. And it's not a whole lot of data. It's only a little bit, you know, the match list is typically uh, only a few kilobytes. So it's not going to kill your, um, uh, you know, your, your data usage or your Wi-Fi usage. So... Um, give it a shot. It's five bucks, um, you know, just to cover my cost, but I think it'll be real useful. And, uh, you know, I do have updates. I do have, um, a plans for doing a lot more improvements. So hope you enjoy it. Let me know, uh, if you have any, uh, feedback on it, uh, if you need, a, if you want the other, if you want any other features added to it, um, I appreciate it. Thank you. And, uh, I'll catch you at a foosball tournament.